In this video, you'll see how to place the DX popover widget from the PhoneJS library onto a web page. This widget is an overlay with an arrowhead that points to the UI element that has been clicked or tapped. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries jQuery, Knockout, Globalize, and PhoneJS. I've also referenced PhoneJS styles for each platform so that our application looks native on any platform. To demonstrate the native look and feel, I've enabled the Ripple emulator. Like with any widget from the PhoneJS library, the DX popover widget can be added using either the jQuery, AngularJS, or Knockout approach. Here, I'm using the Knockout approach. First, we need to add the DX popover widget to the page. Let's set up the widget size by assigning the width and height configuration options. To control the popover's visible state, I'll assign the widget's visible configuration option to the visible field and define this field as an observable value in our view model. So when we change this field value, our popover will be re-rendered automatically with a new state. Now, let's add a button that will show the popover widget. For this purpose, I'll add the DX button widget on the page and define the click action option. I'll also set the show text for the button. In the view model, I'll define the click action function and show the popover. I'll also add the DX popover widget's target option and set it to the button CSS class so that our popover is shown over the button. Finally, I'll add some text to display. And that's it. Let's see how the popover widget looks. As you can see, according to the defined logic, the overlay is shown when you click the button and gets hidden when you click it the second time. Now I'm going to add a UI element to the popover widget. For this purpose, I'll define the DX list widget and declare the item color collection in the view model. I want this collection to contain the values red, green, black, etc. In addition, I'm going to hide the popover widget when an item is chosen. So, I'll assign the DX lists item click action configuration option to a function where I'll hide the popover. And let's see the result. Now, we can hide the popover by clicking the button or by selecting any item. And that's it. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.